What's up everyone, Vincent Genito here. I am hanging out with Sean Murray of Hello Games and we are getting right into some, uh, we're gonna talk about crafting and uh, resource gathering in No Man's Sky. So uh, it's a vital part of the game, right. huge, you know, one of the four main pillars of what the game is all about. And uh, why, don't you, why don't you take us through some of the, some of the vital things that we can, we can create with the things we find on the planet. Yeah, well, what you've got with you is your suit, which you're wearing, your weapon, which you're carrying around, and your ship. And all three of those, have an inventory. I can just show you that actually. I'm sure, yeah, look. So there's your weapon, your suit, uh, and your ship. Um, and each of those has a number of slots. So those are inventory slots, and different suits, weapons, and ships have different layouts of different, in, uh, of kind of different inventories. And that's important, how they're laid out, and right. also how many slots you have available to you. Because th th that's for a couple reasons, right? Because first of all, if you put different things, uh, you know, in adjacency with one another, you get bonuses. Right. So that's one element of it. But the other is that those slots are shared. They can either store elements, you know, crafting, you know, crafting materials, or they they can be slots for you to put in technology upgrades. Right. So you're kind of playing this game of, you know, do I want my, for instance, do I want my suit to be very functional, have lots of different kinds of upgrades on it, or do I want to be able to carry a lot or a mix of the, of the two? You have to play that game kind of. So we can have another little <laughs> look around, right? Um, and actually, titanium is relatively difficult to to gather. <laughs> and you it looks like it looks like the sentinels are not happy with Right, you. exactly. You've I done a little too much to their planet. Yeah. So I'm gonna get out of here actually. <laughs> okay. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. uh, the stuff I need isn't on this planet. Uh, so I'm just gonna run away out into space. <laughs> good idea. So um, you were also mining some plutonium there. That's one of several different minerals that can be used as a fuel source. Right, exactly. And that's fuel not just for your ship, um, but it's fuel for Things like uh, your weapons, right? Um, or if you have protection layers in your suit. So if you're on a hazardous planet, um, that one wasn't. But if you were on an extremely cold or an extremely hot planet, you would need to charge up your protection. And basically. that's one of the interesting things about uh, you know now that I've played a little bit uh, of No Man's Sky that I'm realizing is that a lot of the things that you take for granted in other games as being recharging or infinite are not in this game. Like if you right. want more ammo for your bolt caster, that's something that you need to craft. If you right. want to recharge, like you said, recharge your um, you know your shields, like that's that, that's not just going to automatically happen. You right. have to have the resources for that. So you're always in that way. Like this game is really much more purely like a survival game, like say Don't Starve or right, something exactly. like that, than it is than you than you might initially think. So you just you were just mining some stuff in space here. I didn't know that you could uh, find stuff in space as well as on the surface. Yeah, tell so me about that a little bit. Asteroids um, contain a variety of resor resources uh, depending on the system you're in and the shape and size of the asteroid and how they've been formed and things. Um, those ones contain thamium, um, which is actually a really good fuel source. So that's okay. normally what you would use for powering up your hyperdrive. Uh, there's also loads of other sources of resources in <laughs> space. So for instance, if you were to attack some of these trade ships, yeah. um, they would have a cargo more than likely. Um, so you could attack them and they would drop loot effectively. You can go and grab that, but that's going to, you know, uh, I guess that's going to draw attention from sentinels and police, that kind of thing, and give sure. you a wanted level. Yeah, your wanted level will go up and then you have to find a, find a way to escape. Maybe right. go into the uh, atmosphere of a planet and hide or whatever it is. So we're going to find another planet now, uh, maybe jump down to this planet here um, and have a look and see if we can find some silicon, something like that, in order to build some of the upgrades. Cool, sounds good. Okay, so here we are. We uh, made it. We made <laughs> this planet. <laughs> Um, and I'm just going to land. Cool. I'm just going to find a place. So uh, what kind of resources are we going to be looking for here that we couldn't find at the previous planet? So I'm hoping to find some silicon, um, which is a thing that is normally used to build kind of technologies. Sure. Um, maybe some sulfur, that kind of thing. So I, I land on this alien planet. I have no idea where anything is. Like how, uh, I, but I know what I need, right? Like I'm looking for silicon. So how can I, is it just needle in a haystack to just walk around randomly? Like how can I have an idea of where well, something might be? The first thing is the game kind of has rules, right? And you're going to learn those rules as you go along. So you'll learn planets that are further from the sun have certain types of resources. Planets that are closer have certain types of resources or planets that are certain environments. So this is cool, right? So uh, these hills, they have resources in them. Um, and this over here, this is uh, some debris. So this should probably have some silicon in it. I'm just going to check in and see how we're doing. 
so it looks like we can finally build this, which is a shield boost, so that's going to help me survive for a lot longer. And that will upgrade my shield, which means I'll survive, um, you know, on hazardous planets, I'll survive from being shot much easier. Uh, I will be able to uh, kind of uh, survive against sentinels and things like that, which allows sure. me to maybe put up more of a battle, maybe gather more resources more easily. Yeah, that shield is important both for fighting and for exploration when you're on, when you're in a harsh environment. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, that's a, thank you so much, uh, Sean, for letting us take a look at the crafting in uh, No Man's Sky. And for more on, uh, on No Man's Sky, keep it right here on IGN.